So article comes we- from GameIndustry.biz. <laughs> Sony Interactive Entertainment's Sean Layden is leaving the company after decades in various roles and three years as chairman of Worldwide Studios. Uh, a tweet said, quote, It is with great emotion that we announced that Worldwide Studios chairman Sean Layden will be departing SIE. Uh, his visionary leadership will be greatly missed. We wish him success in future endeavors and deeply grateful for his years of service. Thanks for everything, Sean. That came from the official PlayStation uh, account. And then they also say here, in case uh, you don't know anything about Sean other than his brief... E3 appearances and so on. Layden has worked at various departments at Sony since the 1980s, entering executive roles as VP of Sony Inter- Computer Entertainment Europe in 1999 and taking over as president of Sony Computer Entertainment Japan in 2007. He worked his way up through roles of COO, president and CEO of PlayStation from 2010 through to 2016 when he finally took on the most recent role as chairman of SIE Worldwide Studios. As chairman, Layden oversaw the later three years of the PlayStation 4's life cycle as the console continued its dominance of the hardware generation, surpassing 100 million units earlier this year. Um, so sh- before I talk too much about it, I just, I'm going to add in this other story because I think it's worthwhile uh, circling it in before the discussions. So also from GameIndustry.biz, CFO Kazuko Takeda Take- to take on... Sony Attractive Entertainment Japan Asia President Marita has officially retired from the company as of yesterday. Uh, his successor has not yet been announced. However, his, adi- his additional role as corporate director has already been filed by Sony Interactive Entertainment Deputy President and CFO uh, Kazuko Takada. According to the announcement, in his time at Sony, Morita has worked as VP of administration and control as well as other roles before taking the position of president and CEO of Sony Computer Entertainment Japan before the reconfiguration to Sony Interactive Entertainment 2014. His activities have included leading mobile focused Sony subsidiary Ford Works. Uh, so two prominent in different areas, obviously different parts of the world or whatever. And most prominently Sean Layden, of course, is the, the big name, but these things happen uh, pretty much 24 hours apart from another. The whole internet's blowing up. So what do you, what, what, what do you reckon, Ash? You know, you're on the side over here. You're like, Sean Lane's leaving because PlayStations make terrible decisions. You got your tinfoil hat on. What do you, what do you, what do you got over here? I mean, I think there's reason to be a little bit concerned that they seem to be bleeding people these last couple of years. Whether it's just that they've they'd want to go out on a high that they've been so successful for so long. You've Sean Layden, you've had Andrew House leave in the past few years. Um, you had the whole thing with the CEO of uh, Sony Interactive switching to another position and Jim Ryan coming in. And then you had, uh, I feel like another big name person who was used to be in the press conferences also moved on. Well, I can tell you also well last John years, Drake so, left. At least in the period that we've been <laughs> in doing last, it. In the last month or so, John Wright, John, John, <laughs> yeah. um, John, John left who, who was doing like a lot of the third party relations stuff and he, he now works at Disney. Yeah. That's another person. Yes. Yeah, so, yeah, whether it's just they want to move on, try new things right before the next gen, they don't want to be burdened with having to see through the next generation of stuff or whether they've already got people who have sort of been leading that and they feel like they need to get out of the way of that. I'm not sure, but it, yeah, it seems interesting that the timing is so right before the next generation. It's a, it is a little bit of a concern. I think I'm not I'm not concerned until I see actual proof or things to be f- afraid of. Because here's the thing: the the frameworks or because pe- people are getting scared. Here's the, here's the thing that the internet's doing. All these people are leaving. Oh no, the PlayStation Five is doomed. It's going to be terrible now. The PlayStation 5 is releasing next year. It's releasing in 12, maybe 13, maybe 11, you know, like months. We don't know, really. Either way, it's releasing in about a year from now. The frameworks for that thing is set and solid at this point, you know? Like, you're not gonna, they're not starting from scratch all of a sudden next year with new, new people coming in and being like, yeah, let's delete that, delete that, delete that, delete that. They're, they're, these things can't just... They don't just change overnight for big decisions to do with the launch of something like the PS5, you know? And lots of people work on that. Lots of people continue to work on that. But that's the thing that most people seem to be afraid of. Now, 
if any of the people coming in the PlayStation, the new people taking these positions, if they are going to make really bad decisions, you won't actually see those decisions happen until a couple years into the PS5's life cycle. You know, like they'll come in, they'll start making decisions. You won't see the fruits of their labor until uh, some point after that. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's not like these people just come in overnight. Oh, we're changing yeah. everything. Also, I personally just think that all of these people leaving is because they wanted to stay on. And you could be like, oh, that's a weird coincidence. But it's not. They wanted to stay on, see through the PS4. They're like, PS4 is a great success. I'm actually going to move on now because for no, for the, a lot of the reasons that people move on from their jobs in any other place is just they want something different. You know, they want something new. And they're like, well really when is the best time when you work at a company like that to move on it's like i'll leave at the end of this generation which means that new people will be able to come in and that's their generation you know what i mean like it's just i i really don't think it's a oh some weird sony shake-up conspiracy theory coming in i think a lot of people are just doing very similar things which is generations coming to an end it's time for us to i i, I want to move on i want to do something different and that's what I'm going to do. So, what well, could be wrong, but I don't think we'll find out if I'm wrong until a couple years from now, for sure. You know? And people are getting so scared with people like Jim Ryan coming into one of positions because of one thing he said wrong about the whole um, uh, backwards compatibility. Could have changed his mind. You know what I mean? Like, it's not the end of, Like, people say things they changed their mind it's not like he actually said like something terrible that was like racist or something he said he didn't think backwards compatibility was a good idea that was years ago maybe now he's changed his mind i don't know but it's like it's not worth getting like super oh my god he said backwards compatibility is not good there's not going to be a blu-ray drive in this thing now you know like from one extent to another of just getting like scared over nothing because people get you people get attached to certain people in companies or whatever i guess Although, although gaming is really the only in industry where people will get on fucking podcasts and discuss shit like this. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, the CFO, the CEO left. Oh, no. What are we, what are we going to do? What's Apple going to oh, I suppose Apple would be, Apple would be quite similar. These really like high fan base consumer products. Well, the, if you had to believe the, well, sort of in a crossover thing, uh, the Bob Iger thing, his book recently came out. Apparently stayed on at Disney to oversee the Fox takeover. Mm -hmm. So kind of similar to that, I guess, yeah. kind of that a big personality staying on. But yeah, the person I was thinking of was Adam Boyce. He left the company. Oh, yeah, he left well, a couple of so. years ago and he did it to go. You know, I still, you know, yeah. he's doing, he's over here doing it. The other company or whatever it is. I can't remember, can't remember now, but it's not like he left I and he was it. like, oh my God, PlayStation's terrible. No, it's just, yeah, if you bleed this much talent at the same time, it just looks a bit odd. I guess, but it's not really. It's like if four or five big directors left a a studio at the same time. I guess, but see, the, the, weirdly, the closest comparison I could think of was when I was in high school, one at, at the end of my grade 10, which is the, because we don't do 12 as part of, 11, 12 as part of separate. Anyway, at the end of grade 10, when I was finishing high school, they, three of the teachers from that year all left the next year. And at the, our end of year thing, dinner, whatever you call it, you called it dinner. Um, we were, I was talking to one of them and they were like, literally the only reason they stayed on was because they'd been with my general, my, um, class since grade seven. And three of these teachers were like, just wanted to see our group through. And then they were leaving next year. You know what I mean? Hmm. I, th I think it's a somewhat similar type thing is all I'm saying. Like a lot of these people could have been like, I just want to see the PlayStation 4 up to the end, which they have. Like it, it's pretty much at this stage, it's kind of just like pushing the the boat out to sea and it, it's fine. You know, it, it's it's kind yeah. of on autopilot for the last year. Every, no one next year, apart from people doing like slight firmware updates and these sorts of things, basically everyone from now on is in PS5 mode at Sony. You know what I'm saying? Sure, they have a couple of releases. They got The Last of Us coming up. The, the, and well, that's the thing. Sean Layden's in charge of Worldwide Studios. Yeah. 
why wouldn't you want to see through to the end of Last of Us? Maybe it just makes sense. Like it's approaching the end of the year. Maybe it's just just a timing maybe timing wise. wise, it's just easier. You know, he can move on, get another job. But Reggie leaves Nintendo. No one's like, oh god, Nintendo's fucked. What's what's Nintendo done? They're just like, it's not, I found so weird. I mean, yeah. He's going to become a fucking teacher. The huge release got sold out, got beaten in the mark, the game charts by a, a goose, a goose game. game. Yeah. Um, yeah. The, I will, I will, I, all I'm saying is I don't think anyone needs to be getting super worried until there's actually something no. to get super worried about. <laughs> a lot of people are just reading really, really hard into, into nothing at the moment you give me some more solid proof that there's something going wrong at sony i'll happily get on here and uh be like i'm worried about the ps5 guys you know like uh, we should be like what's going to happen but at the moment i'm like whatever sean lane come someone else will go as i we'll find out you know what they like how they work what's going to happen yeah. People are like. Do you think we'll get presentation now that Shane Lord, Sean Layden's gone? Well, yeah, no. That, that was a, see, I, I do think that's an interesting thing to take into account these days when like hiring someone for these sorts of positions. Like, because um, obviously back in the day, you wouldn't think, like, do you have video presence wouldn't be part of it. But it's like, maybe now that is kind of something that's that's needed for these higher up roles because mm. but I, it's just the world we live in today. You know what I mean? Like, a lot I mean, of these people get put. You can just hire somebody. Yeah, I know, but. You know, a lot of the time these days, these, no, like you these, can like hire a host to that kind of thing. It's like Phil Spencer's re- get Jeff. Phil Keely. Spencer's really good at being on on camera and talking to people, and Phil yep. Spencer always comes across as just a dude. You know what I'm saying? Like he just comes across with someone you could probably just talk to, and he seems chill, and he's very good on camera. He's very good at yep. um, over there at Xbox doing what doing what he does. So, and it, he really doesn't come across like a the person he actually is, which is in a, 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 suit. a suit. You know, he never comes across like that. So I do wonder how much this. Sean Lane was fine. I always liked to come out in the t-shirts. Obviously, that was his thing. Like, wh- what's he got on? What's the t-shirt revealing? He, he was he, he was fine, well, but he yeah. wasn't like the Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, saga. all that stuff. He never quite had the. I wouldn't say he was never where as good as like uh, Phil Spencer is. Phil Phil Spencer is a lot more natural sounding. I feel Sean, especially for the first couple of years, you could tell he was kind of struggling. Um, so. Yeah, it's like I, I do wonder if that's something they have to take into account these days. I don't think it should be, but I do wonder. You know what I mean? Just like if if it helps yeah. get you extra points if you if you're able to do on video stuff. But I did find it weird when this stuff was announced. I looked in Twitter threads and Facebook comment sections, and that's the number one thing people are focusing on. Like, oh, I wonder, like who? Have, think? I'm like, that's like the bottom of the fucking worries of what they're going to be doing in this role you know stop worrying about what they're going to be like at fucking e3 if e3 is even going to be happening you know it's like <laughs> let's let's fucking calm down or if it. playstation's ever at e3 yeah again. but that's another thing like e3 happens next year and I, I, i'm still presuming it does amongst all of the nonsense that's going on i'm still presuming it does e3 happens next year let's say playstation's there uh well hold on bring it back PlayStation does their PS5 reveal event in early next year, whatever it is. So this is the other thing. You're now going to have someone new associated to the pit for the next generation straight away. You know what I'm saying? Sean Layden isn't going to come out and be there and, and talk about that or whoever else. You're going to have whoever's going to come out and talk to you about the PS5 in that first presentation, your brain is then going to associate that to that's this generation's group of people. You know? So whoever comes out, fucking... Um, Mental blank on his name. That guy comes out. <laughs> I fucking can't remember his name. But, um, Shuhei comes out. Whoever, you know what I mean? Like you're gonna be like, okay, these are this is our this is our group. You know? Are you googling Nack? Because I'm like he. Oh yeah, it's a. Uh, what's his name? I had him up before. I'm, mental, I'm fucking mental blank on his name. Mark Sony. Because Mark Sony is 100 going to be coming out because he's the. Um, Architect. architect or whatever officially yeah they call it so he's going to be there and whoever's going to be there and whatever else but then also first e3 right so say so, say so we come around to e3 uh in june following that uh and and let's for the sake of my argument we're going to say that sony's going to be there at e3 we're also going to say that whoever comes out for their first e3 talking about their next generation is going to be a new person and they're going to be nearly associated with this this next upcoming ge- generation because if sean lane was still there it would be like he's there he's talking about it but then he like fucks off you know what i mean if he stayed if he stayed to see the next year and kind of thing so i think it's good timing whatever uh we'll, we'll, we'll see 
Uh, I should probably move on before this turns into a fucking Sean Lane podcast. 